In this video, I'm going to be doing a drawing in my sketchbook and also reading a story for you guys in just a few minutes. But first, I want to talk a little bit about the drawing and more specifically, the colours I'm going to be using for this drawing. As some of you might know, next month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And in support of that, Copic Marker AU is currently doing something really cool on their Instagram. If you want to help support the initiative, you can do it in a really fun way. All you have to do is create an artwork using mainly pink Copics and use the hashtag CopicThinkPink. This will put you in the drawer to win a prize featuring a bunch of Copics and some blending card, which is really cool, but also Copic Marker AU will be donating $1 for every entry, capped at 5,000 I believe, so let's try and get it up there. They did this last year as well, and I think it's a really cool way to spread the word. So if you want to join in, make sure to submit your entry before the 30th of September, which is the cutoff date. So get in quick, it doesn't have to be a super detailed drawing, it can be something simple, a little love heart, a ribbon, whatever you want, the more entries the better. But if you want to win the prize, then maybe put a bit more time into it. But either way, it's for an awesome cause, so enter! I decided to draw a rose that kind of morphed into an eye on the inside. I tried not to make the drawing too creepy for this, as I felt like it probably wasn't appropriate to have blood splatters everywhere like my usual drawings. So I really tried to tone it back, but it's still a little bit creepy with the watching eye in the middle. But I felt like it was a fun piece, and I enjoy drawing roses. I find them really relaxing and quite easy to draw. I had fun trying to blend the eye into the rose, trying to make the petals almost look like eyelashes on the right hand side. It was a bit of a challenge, but I think it turned out okay. For anyone who struggles drawing roses, my best advice is to look at reference, look at actual photos of roses, and look at how the petals form. That's a good way to get the fundamentals, and from there you can kind of break the rules. You'll notice a lot of these petals aren't how they would naturally form on a rose, but if you conform to some of the rules, it still looks believable to a certain extent, so you can get away with it. To me, what I enjoy about roses is a certain flow to it, how the petals unfold, there's a natural balance, and I like to carry that over to where I place the leaves and the thorns. I try to have a flow with my artworks. It draws your eye along that path, and it creates a far more dynamic artwork. I wanted to do a less detailed drawing this week, because I'm still working on the Jeff the Killer drawing, and it's taking way longer than I was expecting, because of the detail in it and some of the colouring techniques I'm doing. It's really time consuming, so I'm sorry for everyone who's been waiting for ages for part 3. Just know, I am working on it and I'm trying to make it as good as I can, so hopefully, it'll still be worth the wait in the end. But meanwhile, I'm just finishing up the line work for this drawing, and then I'm going to jump into the story. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. I upload new videos every week. But with that being said, let's jump into the story. Enjoy. The Rose It is said in folklore that the first rose was planted out of loneliness. Its story begins a long time ago, when a girl, in order to get rid of a curse set on her, decided to plant it. So, she planted a seed, hoping she would never be lonely again, and someone, or something, would always be by her side, even if it was just a flower. But when the plant grew bigger, the girl noticed it was full of thorns, which pricked her every time she wanted to touch it. Being very angry, that girl cursed the flower 
with her own bane, then took it far away and planted it in a valley called the Weeping Valley. In this valley, everything was different. Nobody wanted to walk through it, because everybody knew it was a strange place where they all felt confused and understanding nothing of what was happening around them. Here, you could find no one, except the cursed flower, which was not ugly, but on the contrary, had a pleasant perfume and its petals were crimson red. Someone could say that that flower could not possibly feel lonely, because it was just a flower, and plants could not have any kind of feelings. That someone was terribly wrong. Nevertheless, it happened, although rarely, that all sorts of people did pass through that valley. They all watched the flower in a puzzled way. Once they decided to give it a name, so they called it Rose. But as soon as they tried to touch it, they felt the stings of the rose's thorns. The flower was abandoned immediately at that same time. Every once in a while, a curious miss wanted to touch the flower too. But immediately after she realised the first drop of blood surfacing on her fingers, having the same colour as the rose's petals, she panicked and left in a hurry, leaving behind the lonely rose. Every one of these young women who had the courage to come to get the rose left a thread of their own blood on the rose's thorns. These red threads made the rose remember again and again that it was unwanted, that everybody thought it had a dark soul. But it was not true, because nobody came to know it well enough to understand its true soul. In reality, the rose's tragedy was caused by the fact that it was cursed to remain alone. But it still believed that there was someone out there who would take it out of the Weeping Valley, the valley which it didn't hate, but loved. It loved it because it was the only thing that remained by its side from time immemorial. It was the only thing that didn't run away from it, when it noticed that the beauty of its fragrance and of the petals' colour was compensated by those thorns which, as time passed by, became more red. But there was someone who loved this rose, and deeply loved it very much. This someone was me, but too bad it was only me who loved it. I knew that it loved me too, and maybe even more, then I loved it, but it all ended sad and sorry, because I realised that both the Rose and I were alone. Thus we had more sad memories to share, more and more certainties that we would never get rid of that curse, and that we would be forever lonely. Hey. But how can you say that the rose is still lonely, if you love it? It's easy. Because I am the rose. Thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Consider following me on Instagram, I post a lot of stuff there, and if you want to take part in future polls to help vote on certain outcomes for my drawings, check it out. And while you're on Instagram, be sure to enter the Copic Think Pink competition. Well, it's kind of a competition. 
It'd be really awesome to see you guys create some pink artworks and help support the cause and maybe win some Copics in the process. I'd love to see a bunch of your artworks. Just be sure to use the right hashtags and get in before the 30th of September. Quick! I'll catch you guys next week in the next drawing video. I'll see you then.